welcome to another Dungeon Crate unboxing video. This time I have for you the June 2018 Dungeon Crate. Excuse the setup, as the last time I think we did this, these were much lower and we were a little more focused in. But I actually kind of feel like this gives me more, I mean maybe this is just me talking, but looking at it over there on the computer, I feel like this gives me more of a professional unboxer look, the way the camera is set up. So we'll slide my homebrew map here out of the way and we'll push these minis off to the side as they are not part of this. So, first of all, a couple of things. If you recall last month, I said that the crate was very light on what was in it, and so many of you were quick to remind me uh, and inform me in a lot of cases on YouTube that that's because Dungeon Crate did send out an email saying stuff that was not included, the... Um, the flight stand that I talked about last time that was not included would be included in the June crate. Dungeon Crate then sent out another email that said not everybody's going to get it. There just wasn't enough and this is partially due to the fact that Advanced Deployment, the company that makes a lot of the acrylic things that we get in the Dungeon Crates, has basically gone out of business and they're selling off all of their stock of items they have. So if you haven't checked out Advanced Deployment and they are still open, you might want to do that as they may have stuff that you can utilize for your games at a relatively cheap price. Uh, so it's advancedeployment.com. So then they sent out an email that said they don't have all of that. So some folks just didn't get them at all. Hopefully I did in mine, I guess we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way up front. Also, there may be an interruption and you may not see a July Dungeon Crate video mostly because we are in the process of moving and I may have already renewed for July and I may have to adjust my address but there's always the potential that it gets lost in the shuffle of the mail and we don't actually end up getting the crate and I have a lag in the time it takes me to get it when I open it in the new house and whatnot so we'll see where we are um, and we'll see because after last month's crate that piece with notwithstanding Personally, uh, I was not feeling that pleased with the price of a Dungeon Crate and the content that I received within them. I have been very loyal to Dungeon Crate for over a year now, uh, and I do really like their products, but some of you were so gracious as to comment on my videos and tell me of your favorite crates, so I may potentially do a Dungeon Crate comparison video to another crate that's out there or crates that are out there that you guys or boxes whatever the case may be that you guys have keyed me on to so we shall see um but let's not judge before we actually dive into it so let us go ahead and cut open our dungeon crate and see what we get inside here so here's our piece of kind of laminated actually i feel like the stock has increased since they started putting these dungeons on the back that we saw last time. So I'm wondering again if this syncs up to be a larger dungeon. So we'll read this at the end. Um, so now we have a shady situation. Again, right here in the front. Levels three to five, a dungeon crate adventure. And on the back here, thanks for playing. Join us for coffee and contemplation. Here's their kind of stuff. Let's draw with dungeon doodles and the dungeon crate team. And they have a little stat block for the dungeon crate team. We'll read the adventure last. We have... Okay, we have some ships here. So these are laminated, kind of postcard feeling materials here. So we have two seemingly identical ships. I don't know if you're supposed to get two, but I did. And then on the back here, we have the interior of those ships. So we have... This, I'm assuming, has to do with this shady situation front image here looks to be like the underside of a ship or people are climbing over the side of the ship so that'll probably have to deal with that okay we have a dice bag of some kind and i think now that i'm thinking about it we can actually go ahead and drop ourselves down a little bit get ourselves a little bit closer here so we have this dice bag let's see it is knotted shut and let's see what we get inside here. This is really, I don't want you getting in this by accident or whatever is inside spilling out. Okay, there we go. So, we have a little card in here. It's 
is a dungeon crate. This is one of their business cards that has the cool uh, stat blocks on it. And inside are three, you can see those, wooden barrel, I'm guessing these are for your terrain. You put these here, and we put a regular sized, there's like a deep cuts mini. Right, you can kind of see the comparison size. Um, these I actually believe you can just pick up from like a Hobby Lobby or a Joanne's Fabrics. They sell these, but either way. Um, so we got three barrels. I'm guessing again we have this sea type adventure, so that probably will come into play. Okay, we have some kind of acrylic base with whatever this is, and these look like they are see that it looks like they're treasure chest tokens but on the other side are mimics so let's take one of these out and see what we have so looks like this connects into the base like so and then this connects oh this must be the flight stand aha so if you were to take a mini on top of the flight stand. Now they're flying. So, okay. And then we have three uh, treasure chests on one side, and then mimic on the other tokens. That must be the advanced deployment stuff. So it looks like I may have gotten mine. We have a continuation in the game science dice set. So we've been getting these purple game science dice for a while here, so I'm guessing if you stick it out, you'll get the whole set. So you can see we have another one of these deep purple uninked dice. This is a D24, for those of you who are curious. Um, not a lot of uses for a D24, but I'm sure there's someone out there who has come up with one. So we have a D24. Hey, that was a 23 mm -hmm. on a D24. That's not bad. All right, we have the Reaper Bones Strumpet. I only know what this one is because I purchased it for a different game. Uh, so, one of my first games to represent one of the NPCs, and we can see here the strumpet. So she's kind of got her, her dress pulled back, and she's got a low cut top, and she's got that come hither finger going on. So we have this Reaper Bones Strumpet Mini. We got another Reaper mini in here. We have a lizard. Okay, I have a ton of these. Uh, I think those were one of the big features in the Bones 3 Kickstarter. But this is the Lizard Man Spearman. So you can see. I can get myself. Take up the whole frame. There you go. You got your little spear there stuff on the back so our little lizard man here so I'm guessing that lizard men are attacking people on the boat we have some more campaign coins this is a pretty heavy little bag here so oh okay these are badass so these are inspiration tokens but you can hear how they're made out of metal check that out and that seems to work. Inspiration. So we've got this sword. It's only three. These are pretty sweet, though. You want to give somebody a token that they're not going to forget that they have inspiration? This is a pretty... So oh, and these look like these are from 1980 Who. We've seen a bunch of stuff from them before. Uh, they've done a lot of the Dungeon Master tokens and things like that. And... So... Big old... Now, I'm going to go out on a limb and hope that they purposefully sent me an orange die. I don't know if they did, but let's say they did. This is a bath bomb? This is a D20 bath bomb made exclusively for Dungeon Crate by, looks like, Fizzy Fairy Apothecary. Used by December 2018. That's badass. 
Let's hope that they sent me the orange one because it's me. Mm -hmm. So, let's take a look at our adventure here, a shady situation. Um, all right, Hammer's Vault and the Shady Lady, meeting the Shady Lady. All right, let's skip in here a little bit further. So this is a little bit different because normally the digital dungeon crate is where we get all of the stat blocks. And as you can see right here, Bonnie LeBlanc here has her whole stat block right here, which normally would be contained in the dinner deal crate. So I wonder what we're going to see. Some are ideal for the main road, while others can be used in a forest setting. So here are it's a little random encounter table right here. Um, okay. Oh, a cask of dark amber whiskey. That could be what those little... Um, they could not be barrels, they could be casks. Next page here, we have a blood tooth orc stat. We have a little map here, which is kind of nice, of the distillery. A Yargoth mercenary stat block. We got a little, looks like that's probably the lizard man in the water there. Uh, and then we have the Gangul pirate, which as you can see, is apparently a lizard guy. And then the Gangul Shaman, which is apparently a sorcerer type, or, yep, sorcerer, Scorching Ray, Fireball, and so on. Uh, lizard Folk enemy there. Alright, so that's that. Now let's check our card, and see what we, if we missed anything. So, um, Shady Situation, include, introducing our new 12 page, our newest upgrade, a 12 page full color mini module complete with maps and stats. Bonnie LeBlanc, owner of the Shady Lady Tavern, is having a momentous birthday and party to match. The cask of special whiskey she ordered from her friends up north has not arrived. She enlists the adventurers to escort her north to the distillery. Three metal inspiration coins with bag from 1980 Who, as we discussed. Um, this time it comes in the form of three... Sh uh, inspiration comes in many forms. This time three shiny metal coins. Shady Lady Mini. Ah, that's who this is. This is supposed to be the strumpet is the Shady Lady. Uh, three wooden barrels. This set of three wooden barrels can be finished and added to your tabletop terrain or tavern setting. You can also use them as plops with the flat terrain boat in our included adventure. They're made right here in the USA. D20 Bath Bomb, Fizzy Fairy Apothecary. Uh, when you take baths, or, or whether you take baths or not, this D20 Bath Bomb explodes with a pleasant scent, even includes a standard size D20 in the middle. Ingredients, sodium bicarbonate, blah, blah, blah. We don't care about the ingredients too much. Uh, Reptilian Mini, that's this guy here. Uh, another one from the Bones Mini line. This Reptilian Warrior can be used as one of the pirates in the adventure or as a nasty foe in any campaign. Okay, so it is supposed to be two. Two boats. Terrain card, uh, times two, the Lizarin. From Dungeon Doodles comes our new added insert and a flat terrain marker of the Lizarin. Durban Oak and Stones, uh, Varge is depicted in a shady situation. And a single D24 from Game Science Dice. Yet another in our partnership with Game Science, the D24 can be used in a number of ways in many games. And then there's the password to let you into the digital crate. So, as per usual, what I will do is I will stop what we're watching here of me working on this. And then I will jump over to my computer and we'll go through what we get in the digital dungeon crate. But as I always do, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you like the content of this dungeon crate? If you had dungeon crate and got rid of it, would it make you want to come back? If you haven't picked up a Dungeon Crate at all yet, would it make you want to pick up a Dungeon Crate? Um, and just overall, if you did get this Dungeon Crate, were you pleased with it? Uh, were you not pleased with it? And what would you have changed? Uh, as I've said before, my ideal scenario for a monthly gift-type box uh, for tabletop role-playing is minis. We got two. It's dice. We got one, but it's a cool D24. I prefer dice, but singular die is okay. And that's not counting the D20 bath bomb that contains a D20 inside it. Uh, and that's basically my main function, is I want I want minis and I want dice. Uh, we, got the, we got the stuff from the last creek that we missed, the, the mimic tokens and the flight stand. Uh, and then maps are nice. We got some maps, or use, technically usable terrain. Um... And then we did get an adventure, and anything else is gravy, so the inspiration coins are basically a little bit extra, as are the barrels. So, I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, there are a lot of different 
Well, I mean, it's funny even that we can even say this in this day and age. There are a lot of options out there for monthly uh, subscription you know, boxes or crates for tabletop role playing. They come in a variety of different things. For instance, Dungeon Crate. I, I used to subscribe to RPG Crate, and RPG Crate was heavily focused on the adventures and the modules contained within. Their uh, whole thing was focused primarily on adventures and also including a t-shirt. So you could basically, every month you got a t-shirt and a whole bunch of different adventures. Less on the physical stuff, more on the, I mean like the, the bits and bobs and things. I switched to Dungeon Crate because I like things. <laughs> I like minis, I like dice, so I switched to Dungeon Crate. But if you find yourself in a scenario where possibly you're looking for more terrain, uh, there's other terrain crates out there and things like that. Uh, so I'm curious to see what you guys think. And again, is there a crate that you prefer over Dungeon Crate and why? And, and what is it? Um, so as I said, we may I may lapse the month of July just due to the way things are going with the move. But we shall see. Uh, but that's enough of that, guys. I'll join you over at the computer so we can go through the digital crate. All right, folks, Ted from Nerd Immersion here. Uh, sorry if you hear my air conditioner. The fan blows right here at me, unfortunately. So sorry if you hear a little bit of background hum. But it's time to jump into the uh, digital crate review. So here we are on dungeoncrate.com. Looking at the digital crate, you click here, and you type in the password, and it gets you in. Passwords included on the form here. So we do have the entirety of a shady situation available to us here digitally we have it physically printed right here but we have the entirety of it here as well or at least i should but this is taking a long time to load for some reason um but i guess we can read through some of the other stuff while we see if this ever will actually load um so check oops there we go so here it is digital format the exact same thing we showed you before all contained here so Check back for more digital content coming soon. Um, and it says Shady Lady, Shady Lady Tavern Map and more. So there will be apparently other content uploaded. Sounds like there will be other content uploaded to the June Dungeon Crate. Um, so there's that. Here's the map that we saw in the adventure. Here is the two uh, ship Kind of we have these these are the digital versions of these physical ship maps that i have here um then we have the back this this right here is here's the card with all the info the back is this map that seems to be i'm guessing they're building to some greater dungeon if dungeon crate after all then we also have a shitty situation excuse me papercraft pirate boat here you can go ahead and print out and make for yourself and then a Dungeon Crate Kids spot the difference. Can you spot all 10 changes? So that's what we have for the digital crate. Um, you know, uh, I would love a time frame on this since we're doing this for vi this video and I'm doing this several days after the Dungeon Crate actually hit my doorstep. That means that we're still waiting for this. And again, it makes me assume that this is going to be coming in the june crate but that means that i need to remember to come back and check the june crate for this unless it'll be included in the uh the july crate so anyway guys let me know what you think of this dungeon crate and all the things i said in the video before we switched over here to the computer and i'll see you guys next time